button so I don't forget. And I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because we don't want that the whole stream. Yeah. Okay. Probably not like the best idea. Okay. Um, now we'll see. Okay, so it says it exited host mode. Now we know that yep. Twitch yep. lately the... has been a jerk. And it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we think you want host mode again. And it goes back yeah. to host mode. It's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. John's leaving. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> John's like, peace out. <laughs> Flashing his gang He's signs. He's like, hi. Bye. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Uh, I almost had a don't uh, jumping thing myself, John. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. It went back to hosting. I keep. <sighs> well, I'll just of type in the chat. Oh, of course it did, right? You know, yeah. Um, uh, if it's okay at the moment. Oh, yeah, I can see. Hosting, hit I'm still five minutes <laughs> refresh behind you, so. F5. Yeah, you live in Timbuktu. We'll just see. <laughs> You'll get friggin' Timbuktu in a minute, buddy. Yeah. Tell ya. Just like last night. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Tell ya. We were we 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 were playing teams last night, uh and man, she just wouldn't stop. Just one thing after another. Holy moly. Who it's wouldn't terrible. stop? <laughs> just Who terrible. was being a right royal pain in the butt? You. Terrible. Not me. Yeah. Not Nisi. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not five. I would five never needs to pick up his uh, puns I would, though. I would never oh. ever do anything like that. Mm. Ever. Mm. Mm. Sure. <laughs> anyway. Hey, uh, John. Um, yes, sir. On the show note document for the guest details yes. down at the bottom. Can you put in anything that you want us to share uh, on the blog post that comes out tomorrow for oh, anywhere yes. that for people can reach you? Uh, I will put on the LF casuals uh, Twitter and Twitch as a separate entry above both of you. If that's OK. okay. Um, yep. Do, 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 do. Periton is now hosting us for up to 35 people. Holy moly. This nice. is where I got to put my streamer voice on, guys. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. 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 Good. No, 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 John. Yeah. No, John. No. You're no, writing no, 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 in the no, pink no. area. You're not pink. You're green. John. Oh, I didn't see the green. What? Oh, I got my don't. color blind. Now everybody knows. Are, now everybody knows. Are you? Re no, really? Because I'll change it. No, no. Oh, I just okay. didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I almost felt bad for a second there. Now uh, I don't. Hi, chat room. Welcome, John everyone. Being John. It's, it's, John. <laughs> <sighs> all right. it's, it's all it's good. It's John all good. John. All right, we are that's, at... That's it, you know. If I'm not messing up something. 658. That's not right. Oh, Periton got in there at 10th at level 46. Oh, bumped, oh nice. Just made a yeah. chance at the pit. Yeah, he bumped Essie. Essie was at 44. Uh oh. How dare you, Periton. Wow. Who's, I thought he was a gentleman. Who is, who is Essie? I don't know who that is. I'm not sure. Oh, I thought you guys knew. No. All right. John just likes to carry on about things for a reason. <laughs> No, that's true. That's, uh, that's I, I believe no, you. Like that. Me and Essie are like that. Lifelong buddies. Mm -hmm. Like this? Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's just... Like this is Essie and Essie's best friend and this is you. <laughs> um, Lita, yep. when we Lita, go live, um, I'm probably just going to be like, hi, and then I'm going to mute myself so I can yeah. take a look at stuff to make sure it's working okay. And then we can bag yeah. you out. Okay, Thanks. yep, excellent. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. All right. Let's do it. All right. It's time. Uh, seven o'clock. Let me just, I want to make sure it kicks off. Did it kick off? Oh my God. I don't know if it kicked off or not. 
Did it kick off? I don't see it. Oh, it is running. Yay. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Let's go. I will Let's mute go. and we'll go. Iron Man. Bloodthirsty. Wow. Pacifist. You're listening to the WoW Challenges podcast, the home of the Iron Man Challenge. And here are your hosts, Stone and Lita. Hello and welcome to the WoW Challenges podcast. This is episode 153. Today is Saturday, February 9th, 2019. I am your host, Lita, and joining me is my co-host, Stone. Hi. Oh, hi, Stone. Say hi and go do your stuff. Hi, Falula. Bye, Falula. I, I do it every time, except for the other week. He didn't do it, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, stop changing the show notes, Stone. Um, anyway, I have got... We're very lucky to this week have two very awesome people who have come to join us. So we have got the crew from the Looking for Casuals podcast. That would be the adorable Terwinkle and the absolutely amazing Layla. Welcome. How are you? Good. You got that thing out of the shot just in time, Stone. <laughs> what was he doing? I wasn't watching him. <clears throat> <laughs> Sea stone, which can't get away. I if, was if hoping was to do watching. this. It's like so, a hawk. What, what <laughs> did I try to do is that when we play the intro, I try and do something bad so that I make her laugh. So, yeah, it didn't, it didn't and work. And I try she not wasn't, to look. She wasn't watching. But the problem is it's in my peripheral vision over here. <laughs> so every now and again, I'll catch, like, something, and I'll be like, what's he doing? Oh, and then, yeah. So it's just like, I'm not looking, <laughs> I'm looking like this. I'm like, ignore him. Go do your paperwork stuff, Stone. That's right. I'm going to talk to Layla and, and John and find out what's going on. So, yeah, okay, he's busy doing that. All right, anyway, welcome, <laughs> guys. Hey, you're back, you're back. Yay, exciting. So what's been happening? What's been going on? Like, just a couple of new things have been happening. It's all going first. Fault. It's it's all Layla's okay. Fault. So That's I'll fine. let Layla go first. Nice. What you been doing? What's happening? Everything. Yeah. Oh, when was the Yay. when was the last time that we were on? Oh man. It's been some time. Oh, it's been a little while. A a little while. Um, it would have been. Was it last year? I think it was April last oh, well, year. Well, I mean, it wasn't this yeah. year because it just started, but. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, It was, I'm having a quick look. You reckon April. April was, yep, April, exactly. 21st of April. So, oh, yeah. There we go. So what have you been so doing months ago? since April? Yeah. <laughs> since yeah. April. Well, let me tell you, do you got time? Sure. Go for it. <laughs> hit, me, hit me with your best shot. Go for it. Oh my goodness. So many things. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Lord well, Tundra and Jesus by. Good job. So I was saying, all right. Start with say everyone has to say hi to Chapman because Chapman is so utterly gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So yep, I think he's that's laying down. Like, he's laying down. Okay. Well, here just oh, oh like, here he comes. Everyone say name. hello to Chapman. Say hi, Chapman. There hey, he is. Hi, hey, Chapman. There he it's is. The Chapmans. And there you can we follow, go. You can follow Champ Chapman on Instagram at simply underscore Chapman. Nice. He has his own Instagram. He's a good boy. That, that is good. I love it. Dougie. He's beautiful. Well, I can tell you what Layla has been doing since April has been lead me around uh, BFA and uh, wow. getting me geared mm -hmm. up on my, my tunes. And, okay. uh, you know, uh, Blizzard needs to pay Layla for that because that's a uh, 
an, oh an extra gosh, job. Oh my gosh, that would she... be amazing. <laughs> Please. That's an extra job and a half. Um, but uh, uh, we've, been, we've been having fun uh, gearing up and, and doing all the yeah. war fronts. Actually and, and all forcing stuff, John yeah. to legitimately play the game, which he <laughs> may not have ever <laughs> done up to <laughs> It's, wow. it's interesting to, uh, you know, get gear that's actually kind of current, you know, and and, uh, and go, wow, I can actually participate in this stuff because I have gear that's, that's uh, good enough. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, that's uh, good. And lately well, we, we just, oh, go ahead, Layla. I was just going to say, he did, he did, you did the 110 to 120 on your horde um, mm. by yourself. Mm. And mm -hmm. then John Razarus and I did the 110 to 120 on alliance together like doing the quests okay. and whatnot or the the dungeons that go with the quests as we did the main story for each zone and then yeah. i had to uh it was a painstaking process each week to get john to try and gear his tune so that he could do things like the war fronts when they came out because you do need a, a minimum item level for mm -hmm. those sorts of things so Keep poking and prodding at him each week to try and get <laughs> yeah. get some gear, get good, John. Yeah, a lot of time walking stuff, but we did it. Yeah, yeah, time walking. Oh, good. Oh, well, that would have been exciting. That's and how have you liked BFA so far for both of you? Has it been interesting? Oh my gosh, I love the Horde side BFA storyline. Uh, love Zandalar, uh, probably my favorite. Yep. Uh, one of my favorite spots in the game. Uh, love the whole Aztec feel and theme to it um i love the yeah. storyline and, and everything was great we went through the alliance side pretty quick and so i'd like to go back through at, at another point and kind of uh, you know get immersed in in everything and and enjoy the storyline yeah. as it goes along um but you know the pirate okay. theme was like you know care pirates of the caribbean it's not really my thing but uh you know there's so much there that might uh, you know might suck you in so but you know uh zandalar dolly and dot my favorite some of my favorite folks in the game and mm -hmm. uh you know and, and so as we came to the end of all that um we, we started doing looking for casuals because we saw kind of a lot of uh you know folks that were not as having as much fun as we were in the game and yeah. so you know people that were arguing about mythic level this and i level that and and uh you know, why in fact, uh, one of the things that we talked about this week is, you know, why is my race so fat? And, you know, just people arguing about this and that. So we are like, you know, we, we're not, we're not the mythic raiders. Um, we're not looking for the ultimate best in class and everything. We're, we're having fun. Yeah. And, and so, uh, we came up with, uh, looking for casuals and, um, nice. you know, so in fact, just this last week, we started our, our, revitalization of the looking for casuals group in that we're doing kind of the same thing that we did um uh, previously but we're, we're doing something mm -hmm. along those lines where we've gathered up a, a an elite band of uh casuals and uh, elite <laughs> yes quote unquote elite band we we interviewed hundreds of thousands of applicants and came up nice. with uh, a wonderful group of wylesco uh tiber uh zooey exhibit myself and Layla and we're going nice. through the instances horde side this time and we're starting okay. with the classic wow instances uh, we all level to 15 and so what equipment we got at 15 is what we have and that was it there's no buying any equipment no no uh you know transmogging anything what you've and got since, is what you got and since we were doing the 1 to 60 dungeons we also limited mm -hmm. to the original uh races the original vanilla races and class combinations okay. so we don't have any you know blood elves goblins pandar and any of the allied races and yeah. we don't have a paladin um we don't have like a you know yes. a, a troll druid or anything like that so okay so yeah so and the way that you gear up is just by getting the stuff that drops within the instance so okay we uh we went through rage fire uh, chasm had a great time and yep. so next week, and we'll do these one one instance a week. So next week is uh, deadlines, and so whatever equipment that okay. we may have gotten upgraded um, in uh, Ragefire, we'll be able to utilize uh, going into deadlines, and hopefully, you know, something 
you know, something will drop rather than just a rock or a piece of linen cloth for you for that next instance. Are, are so, you nice. going to be rerunning them? For instance, let's say if you run a couple and then you start going into your next instance and you're like, whoa, we're in bad shape. Are, are, are you allowed to go back and rerun to get better gear? To possibly oh, no. get better gear? No what, you, just... no, what you get is what you got. So okay. if you got like... Uh, like gotcha. uh, Wylesko, our, our orc tank, he has uh, the uh, curved dagger of, what what is it, they, they love, the curved <laughs> dagger of strength or whatever. Is that, that really chintzy kind of green <laughs> little oh. knife? Yeah. That's as what a he, prop warrior. Yeah. Yeah. As a prop nice. warrior, that's all he got mm -hmm. was that it's got dagger. got a little dagger. So he's like going step, step. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if gosh. he has that when he gets to Dire Mall, that's what he's got. So, um, mm -hmm. You know that's what makes it fun and uh makes we it a have, little bit of a challenge we have in the yeah. past rerun dungeons if we didn't this was the last time that we did this was prior to the whole scaling thing that they've mm. done recently mm -hmm. and so we would hit a couple points along the way where we weren't quite the level to get the quest in the next dungeon and so yeah. we would hit the random queue and it would just pop us into one that we've already run so in those cases, we did run those dungeons again, okay. um, just okay. for some experience so that we could move on to the next dungeon. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm not certain, I, I don't think we should need to do that through this, this mm -hmm. next stretch with the scaling, but okay. <laughs> we'll see. Find out, find out, wait and see. You know. Yeah, no, yeah. that sounds exactly. So it's like you're giving yourself your own little challenge within the group way of doing it so well, I mean, I, you know by restricting and and making it a little bit more interesting yeah i don't think we're so much going for the challenge because they're it's not difficult <laughs> um yeah. but i mean if if you managed to get to dire mall and you still only had your level 10 dagger maybe it might be a little rough <laughs> But I think more so what we're hoping to showcase is the fact that, first of all, there's still plenty of people that enjoy playing World of Warcraft. Like, you know, mm. sometimes on Twitter, you'd be led to believe that, you know, the world is ending and nobody plays anymore and everybody hates the game. Yeah. So, you know, we're trying to show that, you know, there's plenty of people that still enjoy the game and there's plenty of people that enjoy the game doing things other than you know, raiding mythic dungeons all day. Like that's mm -hmm. not the only thing there is to do in this game. And there's not only plenty of things to do in the game, but there's, you know, also some really amazing people out there that, you know, if you get together and you're only running Rage Fire Chasm and no, you know, we've all run it a million times and it's nothing, you know, super new and amazing, but it's the experience that you have running with this group of friends that you have that makes it mm. what it is, not just about the dungeon itself, but the yeah. experience you have playing with other people. Yeah, it's the, you know, it's the fun, so it's true. the hilarity, it's the... Yeah, Blizzard, it's the, hire her. Yeah. John pulling the bots and dying. Yeah. Well, no, so that was the, the chat. On his the, again, I was moistening up the boss. And, you cannot you know, moisten geez. the boss, John. I was getting them ready for the group. Lord, and, God. you know, I the, the, the chat room demanded a death, and uh, I was their sacrificial lamb. Because the always. last time we did this, John <laughs> was a DPS warrior. And so since uh -huh. he was always up in melee range, he was always getting hit by everything. And normally <laughs> yeah. by the end of the dungeon, we're posting up the death counter, and he's got like 10, 12 deaths in the dungeon. So the yeah. fact that we had managed to make it through Rage Fire Chasm and John had not died, he's playing a mage this time. So he's in the back. He's wow. out of the back for the most part. Yeah. But, okay. you know, they were demanding his death. So he went ahead <laughs> and pulled the final boss for us. And the boss promptly ripped his face off. And then the rest of the group went ahead and, and took the boss down while John tanked the floor. He, he was immune to... Uh... To your frost freeze. Nova. Yeah. yeah, the frost nova yeah. is immune. And, um, okay, that was the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you got to try these things, John. Like, you know, uh, you don't you know, know until you try. That's right. And again, it, it's all about the fun and, and having fun mm. with, with folks. And, and the you know, we laugh until we cry. And uh, you know, John's it's just... willing to die for our amusement. <laughs> Layla was all, hey, nice. just make sure you don't pull him back to us. You know, yeah, he, he pulls him and then starts walking back to them. I'm like, no, don't get us involved, John. Yeah, this, wow. is, this is wow. your fight, man. 
and Layla was having to put spikes through my dead body and it was yeah yes as you would as you would yeah Jeebus. okay all right <laughs> so i mean that's that's very exciting very excited for you guys looking for casuals obviously like you said you know not everyone plays the game like so many of us play the game on a whole different levels to a lot mm. of other people and there's nothing wrong with that there is absolutely nothing wrong for that so i think what you guys are doing is is awesome and a wonderful thing and people should definitely check it out have fun i mean as long as you're having fun within the game you know it, it doesn't matter just have fun have fun with the game and uh i think that's the main thing speaking of having fun so obviously the last two weeks we've been yes. having a whole different kind of fun um and i for some of us the uh, the word fun could be in <laughs> quotation marks for other of us it could be fun yay so we have been you know obviously doing a, a challenge this is a particular challenge that i know both of you have been doing uh the contest so one horde one alliance um i i want to know I want to know how did you go? Did you so think Layla, about that you were... when you put your shirt on today, John? Because I thought yeah, about that. Yeah. I did notice. I was like, I wonder if they mm -hmm. actually worked out that we're going to do that. I so mean, I was thinking didn't that talk when... about it, but I just I yeah, sure. thought about it on my own. Nice. It's good. So so <laughs> tell me, how did how did you both go? How how is uh, Team Dwarfs and Team Torren doing? Boy, I... John has the more lengthy story, so why don't you go ahead with that? <laughs> oh boy, why, you know, why am doors... I not surprised, John? Well, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> you know, Layla and I decided right off the bat, uh, you know, because Layla, Layla played uh, Torrin back in the day and, and just loves the race to death. And I, you know, I look, I like Torrens as well, but um, Layla really really had a thing for torrents and um wow john could you make that sound oh, any worse wow john oh my god could. well I she does just, she does uh, live in cowtown ohio yeah and um you know so yeah. it just made sense it, it just made yeah. sense yeah. you know and as much as i enjoy uh you know playing horde side and whatnot uh, you know i'm more particular towards the alliance side so it was an easy pick for us which side we were going to go. And uh, mm -hmm. so definitely I went with the uh, team dwarfs and Layla went team Torin. And, yep. you know, we'll hand it to Layla. She's a lot better person on social media as far as cheering uh, her team on than I was. You know, I did the best I could, uh, you know, uh, you know, throwing out some tweets and likes and cheering folks on. But Layla, you know, she always went the extra mile, had screenshots up and, and yeah. uh, really did a great job. At, 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 uh, committed at, at, at cheering our team on and it certainly seemed like there were a lot more dwarves than there were Tauren and uh, but yet in the end you know um, we see how that turned out and we'll talk about that in a bit but um, mm -hmm. you know I well I went through uh, three dwarves myself and um, okay you know uh, and Zorts he he went through quite a few torrent himself as well, and I have to give it to Zorts this time. He did beat me, and so you know, um, I I bowed to Zorts and Zorts. I thought for a couple times he was going to call it done, and uh, he came right back and and uh, and beat me. But I will say uh, that it took him uh, four four tunes to do it. Uh, you know, I only was on three. <laughs> And, uh, you know, so he did, uh, he did beat me, but it did take him an extra, extra time to get through. So, you know, uh, you know, well, I mean, we'll, we'll give it to him. I, you know, <laughs> we'll put an asterisk on it and, and we'll give it to him, but you know, uh, kudos go to him and, and, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, he, he, uh, again, four times, four mm. times, but that's okay. You know, because he, that just shows that if, if he gets knocked off the horse, he uh, he gets right back on, and uh, perseverance went out in the end. That's and that's right. 
you know, so uh, kudos to Zorts. And, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, he it looked like he learned uh, from a couple of his mistakes on his you know, previous deaths. And, uh, uh, you know, he was kind of skirting around some of the harder quest to do and you know and i i understand you notice that. how this is supposed you know, just, to be john talking about his experience yeah. and oh, he's oh. more focused on oh, well, uh talking it. about sorts <laughs> why don't just, you talk about just, your own death okay john? all right my own deaths well uh you know again with the uh the upgrades uh, since the the patch you know things are a little dicey getting to 20 and uh so i had mm-hmm. my uh i decided you yeah, know let's go something different Went with my Shadow Mage uh, class that uh, I'd made previously on my first dwarf, and and uh, yep. Shadow Mage was amazing, and uh, which is a Shadow Priest, uh, but um, uh, uh, we did really well up until uh, the, the Kobolds. They always get me in uh, mm-hmm. Lock Modan. You know, I, I went through. I decided I was going to take care of Karanos and went over to Elwyn, took care of stuff there. But when you get to Lock Modan, then everything else is leveled up with you. It's a it's a little more difficult and and uh, uh, you know the the rare so at the mine rare, cool yeah. uh, it was at the uh, the commander regime. There's a rare there that's next to the cooking pot. I think is cub. And, um, yep, cub. cub. Yeah, cub. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I almost had him, but uh, he he ran away before I could take him down. And um, yeah, yeah. So then I decided, oh. well, I got to get caught back up quickly because you know yep. Zorts is at like. He was at 20 at that point. I was like, good Lord. So I get, hopped on a Fury War because I know that the best and got right back up to 15 and was killed again by another <laughs> another rare bulb in the uh, in the Silver Stream mine. So, uh, okay. you know, um, so then uh, I went with the Warlock and that one mm-hmm. I did really well with and is still alive, but I uh, only got to level 21 and okay. so you know that's where that's where i ended was level 21 and uh and again i zorts i think he was at um i think 26 last i saw so um you know he did really well but i really enjoyed it and again uh, i gotta tell you just getting past 20 that was always kind of a that's a mini victory for me lately and uh so well but, there you go yay yeah yeah, yeah so awesome that's okay. how I did, Layla. And you're still alive. You're still, still alive. alive. So yeah. congratulations. 20, That's... Twenty-two. Well, yeah, twenty-two, and still alive in uh, Mithra, yeah. uh, Mithra Harbor. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds so. good, Layla. Menethil, thank you, Layla. Menethil, Menethil. As soon as he said that, the famous it, surname yeah. in all of Warcraft. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. It was just my door of the alarm bells are going off. The Menethil, Menethil, Menethil. Yeah. Menthol Harbor. Menthol, Menthol Harbor. Yeah, that's what call it. They still haven't fixed it. You know, it's still underwater. I don't know how it's going to take yeah. that. Well, you know, look how long it took take to fix the bridge in uh, Lakeshire. So, yeah. The front of Stormwind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Layla. So how did you go? So so John went through on three turns onto his third turn. How did, how did you go? I only had the one tune. Um... I was going for, I wanted to get to 20, um, by today only made it to like 18 and a half. She's still alive. I just didn't have the time to, to get her to 20. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, the contest fell during a period where I've just been having to work so much. Uh, the owner, the owner's wife had surgery. So I had a bunch of extra hours to pick up and, you know, it was just, I just, didn't have enough time but i worked on her a little bit each day and it definitely i think is noticeable um for people if somebody's used to playing with heirlooms or even Mm -hmm. playing with greens or or blues or whatnot that you realize how much time it takes to actually get through those (laughs) levels and Mm -hmm. i i have a tremendous amount of respect for for first of all for anybody that's done multiple tunes and managed to get to the 20s 30s or 40s with them um just because the amount of time i know that it takes to do that or the people that have got like i can't even imagine how long it takes you to get through levels once you get you know, like above 50, 60 and that sort of thing. So the high levels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But still, she's still alive. So yeah. yay. 
So that's good. And I mean, yeah, real life can impact so much on our playing time. But, you know, we understand that. We all go through that. So I'm sorry you've had a really busy week or busy couple of weeks. But yay, you're still alive. You didn't kill any coons. Nope. So go. Just just the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I did have I did have a couple um I had at least one blinking red screen and it was in the only one um, that's good (laughs) the quill bore cave when you first enter the northern barrens and you go into the one cave to collect the supplies and you have to go up and kill the the dude the name dude up at the top yeah yeah that was that was the only time I that I recall that I had a blinking red screen was was in there dealing with those I think it probably got you know more than one on me at a Mm. time but yeah yeah that's the thing is what did you roll did I ask what did you what um Hmm. warrior warrior for you John what were you doing the you ended with the warlock yeah warlock yes so it was Uh, shadow priest shadow priest fury warrior and affliction warrior okay all right and, okay and how did you find those for you do you think that the you know there was one in particular that you felt really quite comfortable with well i tell you uh, i really i liked all three of them i really thought they all did well the shadow okay the shadow priest ended up being too squishy and the yeah. reason why i had to leave um lock bodan was because the the rares i couldn't I couldn't uh, fight any rares, and if they were in a like that Optimo or whatever the uh, rare uh, Mechano Strider, Optimus. Yeah. Optimo, Optimus Prime is what Optimo. I call him. Yeah. It's yeah. Optimo. I just call him Optimus. No. I, I tried a couple times and had to run out both times. I was like, nope, nope, and yeah. you know you can't progress any further. So that's why I ended up heading over to to Westfall and dying to that Cobalt in the yeah. yeah. And it was a rare it's again. A those rare. rares were just mm-hmm. too hard. Um, and, uh, so I just had a misfortune with the fury warrior as far as not getting that execute off on cub. And so that's why he's able to drag in five more kobolds and kill me. But, um, the affliction warlock seems, uh, pretty potent as well as as you're able to take stuff down and dot stuff up and, and uh, keep yourself alive. So, and you got your cookies and, 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 uh, and your, uh, you know, your drain life, which keeps you up pretty fairly fairly consistently so it does help how about you lila how how was the warrior for you you were felt quite comfortable with that um i felt comfortable as long as i knew i mean i felt as the warrior that i needed to pay special attention to what was going on around me Mm -hmm. because if i was prepared and a second joined the fight i i could manage it well enough um, but I felt mm-hmm. like I think yep. that if if you weren't prepared for a second one to join in, then it, it definitely could have been trouble. There were a couple times where, you know, a second one ended up coming in and I knew just given the circumstances, I wouldn't be able to deal with it. So I, I had to, you know, turn and run away. Thankfully, Torrin have the their little stomp that they can do. It stuns for three seconds and you just kind of take off yeah. running. But nice. yeah, I think that if you, as long as you're aware of what's around you, and you know, like the the staple idea of sometimes you have to clear a little bit more than what you need because you don't want things to join in or you don't want to risk um, having to fight more than one thing at a time. But yeah. ultimately, I didn't feel too bad with the I did fury. Okay. Um, yeah. But again, like being eighteen, I'm certain that you know I really wasn't getting to some of the more harder hitting stuff. Um, at 18, I ended, um, let's see, after I finished Mulgore, I went over and did a little bit of Duratar, went to the Northern yes. Barrens, did a decent mm-hmm. amount in the Northern Barrens, and was getting to where there were just some quests. I'm just like, nah, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to try those. So I went over to Tiras Fall, and yes. Tiras Falls where she's still parked in Brill right now. So Tiras Falls where mm-hmm. I ended. But I was still able to do the rares in Tiras Fall without it being. Um, I did the the bat that's in that one field, and I did the rare oh, the murloc new- down new- on the coast. I yeah. didn't. I saw the spider that was in the house, but I didn't want to mess with that one. So I'm like, I don't know if you're gonna put like a a poison or something on me, and I ain't dealing. With it. So I just got my pumpkins and killed the dudes and got out of there. Yeah. Left the spider in the house, but 
The Murloc and the Bat there. weren't, uh, they weren't too bad. That spider yes. on the house is still stuck in that chimney, by the way. Yeah. If mm. you if you walk up to him, though, you can kill him if you walk in there and stab oh, him. Oh, I wouldn't have been chimney. able to you pull can... him out of the house. No. no. Yeah. yeah he's stuck in that. But you can walk up yeah. to him and kill him in there, so. Yeah. Okay. So do you think, I mean, with how you've gone over the last couple of weeks, obviously, with, with the contest tunes, is there one piece of advice from both of you know from either of you that you would give to anyone wanting to give just to try a challenge turn at all whether it's for a contest or just giving it a go what would you recommend you've given lots of little you know tips and tricks along the way but what's the one that stands out to you that you'd say this is the advice i'd give someone i'll let layla go first well, I have I, a couple that I, I was thinking mm -hmm. about. The one I had made the post okay. about um, earlier, if it was earlier this week or if it was last week, about how, you know, everyone's been talking about making sure that you're aware. That, I mean, I know a lot of people tell Joe, we've been telling John in his stream, if you get the heirloom mount, you won't get knocked off the heirloom mount. And while that's true, you can be slowed and snared and stunned while on the heirloom mount. So mm -hmm. if you go riding through a pack of mobs, they're not gonna knock you off, but they could stun you if they have such an ability or they can snare or slow you, which could be just as dangerous as getting knocked off if you have a bunch of them on, that, on you. So I think that yeah. you know some people need to be aware that that can happen and maybe riding through like a whole pack of mobs that have the potential to slow, stun or snare you might not be such a wise choice um, because mm. they could definitely do enough damage in that short period of time to to put a hurting on you. But um, I think that's kind of just an, an overall um, tip. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I was thinking of one and I was thinking about it last night while I was, you know, trying to get another level in um, on the Fury Warrior was that my strategy for dealing with named tunes or, or named mobs and rares would be knowing, like going up to it, um, working your way towards it, that the mob before save up enough of your rage so that you have rampage available right off the start when you mm -hmm. charge in on a rare or a named mob because that's an awful lot of damage right up front. And so yeah. I was always constantly making sure that I was aware if I was coming up to one of those that I wasn't, I was just kind of doing the bare necessity to get the, the, the next mob in line down so that yeah. I would have enough rage to use the rampage and the victory rush, you know, right off the get when, when I would head in. And that really mm -hmm. seemed to be very helpful. Okay. All right. For myself, yeah. it's, it's yeah. know when to run and know <laughs> when to stand and fight. Hide. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, I thought you were going with uh, the no go run, no them. when to hide. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Fold yeah. Them. And run away. Uh, you know, I've been. No when to walk before, away. Before the contest, I've started uh, uh, working on Iron Man tunes, on on uh, just going through mm -hmm. each one. And so I started with the Human Warrior yeah. and uh, ended up in the cave in the Gol Olar Quarry. And on Bloodhoof, and what I found was on Bloodhoof, the server Bloodhoof, is it's a, it's a kind of a newer or not as populated server. But the thing of it was is there's a lot of newer players on Bloodhoof. And so um, you go into an area and there's a lot of people running around doing stuff. And so the mine was cleared out. And so when I went in there, coming back out, stuff started popping up. And uh -huh. so you're kind of you didn't work your way in. And so you didn't know what the timer was as far as when a mob's going to pop back up on you. And so, yeah. um, so I was working my way back out and had something pop up behind me. Well, um, I was, I thought, well, I, I, this is the time to run. And it was, I should have uh, stayed, killed the one and then would have had my victory rush to take on the other one and possibly had gotten out of it that way instead of trying to leash the, the one off and oh. of course run out and you had 50 more trogs yeah. jump on you and it was, it was pretty mm. much over. Now, you know, Cogspring tried to give me that advice right then and there and I wasn't real happy and receptive to that advice at that point in time but uh, looking back mm -hmm. on it Mm -hmm. Looking back on it, I was like, you know, he was probably right. Whereas, yeah. <laughs> whereas sometimes, uh, you know, 
retreat is the better part of valor and and um mm -hmm. You know, so uh, if you have the opportunity to where you can, like Layla said, stand something and break away and yeah, that way you're yeah. not having to stand there and try to fight three things that are on your face, then, you know, uh, and mm -hmm. so again, having that good sense of, am I able to stand here and fight and kill these three and not panic and, and just go through my rotations and, and kill these, th these three things or do I have uh, something on cooldown where I can stun these three and get out of the situation, then come back and, and go back through again? So, mm. yeah, I think it's real important knowing, you know, what you're capable of, what's on cooldown, what can you do, what are your tools in this particular situation, and uh, yeah. utilizing that to your best effect. So, again, do you stay, fight it out, or do you panic like I did, and it's like, ah, 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 try to get out and, mm. you know, and die? Do you or, stay or you know, do you go? Yeah. 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 I think knowing yeah. knowing what's around you too is important in yeah. that not only mm -hmm. knowing what you're capable of but whether or not you have an out or are you just going to run into more things. Or maybe yeah. the mob yeah. won't leash because it's bugged and it just oh, runs yes, around the true. entire zone right. because <laughs> Blizzard's too busy to fix to these freaking we, things. Yeah. We, we will get I'm to not that. salty on. still. No. No. <laughs> not at no. all. No, I would be. I, I, I would be. No, yeah. Holy smokes. Anyway, be before we get to Stone's Week, which is going to, I'm so excited to hear about what? Stone's Week. Anyway, <laughs> um, I w my last question for you guys for the moment is just do you think you'll continue to level these, these tunes? Like now that the contest is over, are you going to continue on with them to see how, you know, mm -hmm. to see how you go with this little Iron Man challenge? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I still have the one that I defeated Zorts on uh, in our last Iron Man <laughs> Extreme Challenge 4, where I mm -hmm. destroyed him with that one. Wow. And uh, yeah. so I still have that Blood Elf. And um, so I always utilize those guys up until, you know, their demise. But, um, you know, I have uh, an Orc Hunter that I'm working on as well. And, okay. um, you know, but t certainly I I'd love to keep uh, my uh, Warlock and, and, and just see what what uh, how how i can fare with uh, my dwarf warlock there as well with okay. this little imp uh zorte nice okay all right layla how about you i Sweet. think actually i've been looking at the allied races iron man mm -hmm. lists and i think that yeah. you know there's obviously there's not not too many there that have made it up uh the high high levels so I think I may take a look at, you know, what what races are on that list that maybe, you know, either have it have if any of them have made it to 120 yet, I'm I'm not certain, um, or if there's, you know, a race that hasn't that I might consider looking into to that challenge of trying to to bring, you know, one of the first of the allied races up. Nice. Cool. Well, do it. Just, I said do I, it. Go for I it. Can I just point out that Layla has ah. never lost an Iron Man tune? That's true. Nice. I still have my oh, very God. first one. Granted, I've not done anything with her for a long time. Were, but weren't you matter. thinking still of alive. doing right. some videos where you level your Iron Man, but also do it in ASMR? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I had I had considered that for, and that kind of goes along with the with the allied races thing because I had oh, considered man. doing that for the void elves because of the whispers and yes. stuff, the void, and yeah, that's still out. That's still a, it's still uh, it's still simmering in there. Okay. The idea. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, Layla does a really good job with that yes, Mark. Okay. So, what happened? Hold on a second. All right. Um, have you sorted everything, Stone? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so other than that, how's your week been? Anything else you want to report? Um, with obviously looking for casuals, you've been busy with that. You got through the dungeon. John died. Sacrificial lamb. I think we that's that's yes. safe to say we just all, uh, you know all of that we just finished uh, recording our uh, first episode for our podcast for uh the show and the i first just got official done... one yes yeah, official okay. we've, we've done a few uh trial and error type 
type deals and uh we yeah. we've got a, a really good and solid uh, format and uh we we finished nice. recording thursday night our first one and i just finished editing and we're just going to put some finishing touches up and we plan on having those up tuesday nights and then our runs will happen on wednesday nights and then we'll just continue that formula throughout so and again a big Excellent. shout out to wylesco uh to uh tiber and uh to zooey uh, for joining Layla and I on this fun-filled adventure that we have uh, looking forward. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Yes. That's excellent. Okay. Well, and we'll get the details uh, shortly about where everyone can find you. But that's that's super exciting. I can't wait to have a listen to that. I'm sure there'll be many laughs to be had and probably a couple of fi face palms as well, I'm guessing. <laughs> Lela, I'm guessing there was a couple that you just rolled the eyes. Yeah, and well, and like, here, but here's oh, the John. thing, is John is in charge of the editing. So oh, whether okay. or not he chooses to leave them right. in, there's plenty uh -huh. of them there. But how so many manage to make it past John's editing? Right. Uh -huh. right. Uh, right. Well, you know, okay. right. Layla says that, but she is very, very much has a firm control on what goes in and what stays out of uh out of the podcast because i'm not john's that's, monkey that's right and uh there there would be prices to pay if if certain things remained in and certain yep. things uh, i think i not. think there were multiple times over the course of the <laughs> recording where i was like john this is going to be the last episode i do the first <laughs> one's going to be the last one you keep at it i ain't doing dream, it again dream eater, dream yep. eater. nice yep. Nice. Okay. Totally. I totally understand that, Layla. I totally understand that. Anyway. Uh, okay. So right. thank you. Thank you for sharing all your experience over the last couple of weeks and your new experience with, with the show. And we, of course, wish you all the very best with that and all the fun. I can't wait to see how the leveling fun goes with your team. So we look forward to catching up with that. I want to talk to Stone now and find out how salty are you stone i'm still salty, salty from stone? last week yeah so yeah well but we don't need to get it was back rough. into that again it was rough. so yeah it was we rough. did we some know. testing on it though those riflemen mm. will chase yep. you throughout the entire zone like they don't leash right. if you leave the zone like if wow. you go on the coast they will stop if you go into um, Arathi, uh, I believe Saya was having a test with it. It's just they okay. leash. Uh, I wasn't able to get into the lock because a NPC killed it. And but still, fix Ooh, it. Okay. Fix it. Pissed off. Okay. Yeah. Slightly. Okay. Anyways, which we understand. We do understand. Good okay. lord. Mm -hmm. It's like um, the mini maps. I... <sighs> Don't start, John. John, I... this isn't your podcast. This is, John. This is not the hill you want to try to fight up because oh, oh. no. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Blizzard, fix it. I I actually posted a, a thing saying this is broken. Fix it. So. Um, okay, so uh, this week I got my iron to level 26. I don't know, Lunar Festival. And, oh, yeah, I'm doing Jangler's 1 to 60 guide thingy. So okay. I'm giving his yep. thing a go. Um, I kind of already out leveled Dun Moreau and Azure Mist because of Lunar Fest. I'm not sure, but I, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't want to run them because I was getting like 300 XP per quest. So I'm hanging out in Blood, yeah. Blood Mist right now. Uh, okay. got my bloodthirsty to 41. It's no biggie. Um, yeah, nice. honestly, I just, it's been slow and steady through everything else. Uh, pacifist to 24 because of Lu Lunar Fest and uh, Dark Moon Fair. Because mm -hmm. I'm remembering to buy the auction house items, like the quest things that you can use. Mm -hmm. And I've never yes. did. Stupid me. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, uh, and Monster I got my green. Egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my green to 44 and also Lunar Fest. Okay. Thank you. So uh, honestly, it's just Lunar yep. Fest a lot this week. Because now that I died in the contest last week and you won, so, so 
I am still leading six to five, but you won. So you mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. are within one now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just like, no, I got to focus on my normal tunes. So anyways, so, yeah. that, that, so that you're just running me. one of each, one of each, yes. one of each. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this actually so somebody was asking me on Twitter, you know, how do you keep them all straight? I'm like, well, I do my pacifist first and then my and then my iron because I know that they both can't wear green. I know that mm-hmm. my I know the first one I play, I, I can't kill things. But then when I go on my iron, I know I yeah. can just go and nothing. None of the switching back and forth because I might accidentally start to kill stuff on a character. I can't kill things mm-hmm. on and and the, and on that note as well i kind of do bloodthirsty first and then green so i kind of play mm-hmm. them in pairs where bloodthirsty yeah and green they can both wear green but bloodthirsty i know i can't do quests i just go kill things and then on my green it seems easier because i can do quests so yeah uh, so i play them in pairs if you want to give that a mm-hmm. go that might help you a little bit too that's it yeah no well that's it that is a really good tip because i was talking um the other night about how the same thing i have to hop on the pacifist first if i'm going to play multiple challenge tunes pacifist has to be first because mm-hmm. i've had it where i've played pacifist last and all of a sudden gone to be like oh i need to ki-. and it's like no 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 you're on a pacifist don't don't touch hands off hands off yeah so pacifist is always played first so yeah Okay, so for my week, uh, I haven't done a huge amount other than I didn't kill my tune, my contest tune. Well, so that good. was exciting. I got to level oh. 34. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. Dwarf Priest, I tell you. Yeah. So I had to change her over to Shadow because uh, this got really, really scary about level 26 or 28 or something. And I was like, I should have killed her at least 10 times. She should have been dead. If she was not Shadow, she would have been dead. So Shadow had a little bit more survivability. Um, But I should have been dead. There was, I think, one night I should have killed her four times. (laughs) Because it was rough. Dwarf Priest was, was rough. So I'm just... The fact that I made it to 34 and didn't die i'm surprised because honestly i really i really struggled i also really struggled with trying to work out a decent leveling kind of like i was jumping all over the place but i was going with if i if my gut said this quest is like don't do it then i walk away and there was one quest over in where was i desolus so you know when you go to the naga um, go to that weird flight path over on the coast and there's Naga. Yeah, so I, I hadn't done it for so long. I was like, yeah, okay. My gut wasn't like, yeah, don't do it. It was like, yeah, yeah let's go do it. They hit like a truck. So she nearly died. The first time she nearly died, I was like, yeah. And then I thought, well, is it me just being, you know, newbie with the shadow priest and i'll try it again and the second time i try i nearly died again it's like that's it done the gut's like going no 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 let's get out of here so <laughs> drop the quest get out so uh yeah so poor just about gave poor chris a heart attack in uh chat that was that good <laughs> and anyone else i was like yeah we're done we're done so you know you do have to listen to your gut and if something's not working drop it and keep going so um so yeah so it's been it's been interesting contest definitely which we will get to very shortly uh i did play my passy so passy leader hit level 50. i did five levels on her this week wow 50. wow i've got a level 50 (laughs) pacifist that's amazing who am i i I don't know I i don't even know um so yeah it was it was really again just it's i'm not gonna say it's easy it's not easy but it's very chill it is so chill doing a pacifist and i take back all those evil thoughts that i've had for a really long time about a pacifist because it is actually quite chill and just picking flowers and mining ore if you find the right spot 
it is really chill. The right spot when you're a high level is definitely Western Playgrounds. That's my mm. new favorite place. Round and round the um the the lake. Just fantastic. Uh so yeah, that's like what's going on. I anyway, we we will see. We're hit level fifty. We're heading towards, so we'll, we'll just keep going. So we'll see how that goes. And then yesterday, we did some Iron Team. So we've got the Iron Teams with Stone, Nisi, Five, and <laughs> with Stone, Nisi, and Five. Um, we got, so pretty much, I think it was 13 to about level 17. Or Well, I hit 17. I think Five hit 18. So we got a few levels on them, which which was good. Um, and we're still trying to work out a team name. I think that's the biggest struggle for us at the moment, is trying to work out an appropriate team name. Uh, there were certain ones that got really vetoed very quickly. And anyway, I, we've, yeah, we've got a I mean, couple of I don't levels. know. I was thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about that one last night, and I'm starting to think I like that one. No. Nope. Uh, is it the good news nope. game train? Nope. <laughs> the good nope. news Continue game train. Material, John. <laughs> now, can I just say, uh, you know, you were talking about trusting your gut and not going into mm -hmm. certain quests and whatnot. Yep. That's great and all, unless you have Layla watching your stream, telling you put your big boy pants on and go ahead and go <laughs> jump in that cave. What are you doing? You're wimping out. Don't, don't. And so I'm like, oh, well, all right, I'm going to go in there. That's what I told well, him. Don't have Next that. He does, just... he does his Iron Man Extreme challenges with Zords, mm -hmm. right? And I told yeah. him, I said, but what's really extreme about it? I said, what you need to do is you both need to be the same race and you do the zone, like every single quest in the zone, no matter what, yeah. you do every single one. And that's the extreme part is that you can't just decide, oh, I don't want to do this or I don't want to kill that mob or whatever. Like, no. Mm hmm that needs to be the extreme part. So I've been trying to talk him into their, their <laughs> next yeah. their next competition it's between each other idea. is that Absolutely. it's yeah. one hundred percent every Climb single tower. quest in the same zone and see yeah. if one can manage to outmaneuver the other in terms That's of the same same race, quest so, same race, same class. I and... don't know if it has to be the same yeah. class. Mm -hmm. I mean that may be part of, you know, the the uh the strategy mm. there is because you yeah. know maybe you know maybe one class isn't going to be able to do the the quest where another class would be or it comes down to how does one class yeah. manage x amount you know x type of mechanic where you know what would this other class do but it could be mm. the same the same class too i i think it's a good idea i i think we should all second <laughs> that um idea and uh the boys should do it Definitely. Yeah. I think it's, that would be good. Yeah. No? It's always easy for Layla. Oh, put your big pants on. You climb that tower, fight through those, get that rare. Quit stuff. being a girl, John. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Layla. I'm Jesus. on my way. <laughs> nice. Crying as I walk in. Well, I, you know, it's it's good that you've got support, John. I, oh, yeah. I think, you know, <laughs> that's... Yeah, yeah. Layla's just supporting you in ways that you didn't realize. Obviously, Help for other grow. people that... Yeah, you know, showing you, you your true potential, that. John. Yeah, yes, the added the show, added you know. bonus is just when he goes in, and then you hear ah ah ah. Screens flashing red. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, uh, there is there is love and affection shown in many different ways. And <laughs> Layla, look, I honestly think wow. that you know this this that what you're doing is you just. It's just in a different way by encouraging John. That's right. To uh, suck it yeah. up, you know, stop being a little princess and get in there and and get it done. So I I fully understand. I fully understand. But you know, I think that's good for John. You know, but obviously, if oh, you came over and I said that to that. me, just... I'm going to tell you to you know take a hike because I'll be like, no, I'm going with my gut. Oh, but you know, and again, I know you'd mean that with love and affection, the same as I'd say this time tried you know it's just like that but fully support with john i think that's yeah. fantastic dance yeah. my monkey dance <laughs> layla's always telling me you got this you got this you could take nice. him 
Yeah. I don't know, Layla. <laughs> you got him. Put your big boy. Anyway, that's on. that's yeah, been my week. It's, it's been an it's <laughs> been an interesting week. So I think we've we've uh, it's been good. Okay. Are you good? good. It's it's good. Yeah. Let's yeah. it's time. Yeah. Let's do it. Right, good. Go. Is my blood. That's not it. Breaking now news from the world of Warcraft with Lita and Stone. All right, so uh, the contest is over. Oh, no, okay, so the contest is over. <laughs> uh, man, so uh, be, be, before we go over the results, uh, Layla and, and John, uh, thank you very much for supporting uh, this and sponsoring. And Layla, thank you for putting up with my crap with the banners and stuff. Uh, I, I really Looks like them. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I, it yeah. would be, yeah, okay, uh, uh, now I'm going to stop because I'm going to say stupid stuff and then we Complete don't, we don't need to, we driver. don't, yes, we don't yeah, need I thought to go the 30 down. banners you made before <laughs> were all yeah, right. But... she made quite a few of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite like that. Could you change it a little bit? <laughs> Very particular. No, and then at the end, then at least he wasn't like you know at the end where he's just like you know what I like the first one you did the best. No, I that was do fun. That. <laughs> nah. Um, overall, and so I'm just looking at how many characters <coughs> were in it. Uh, mm -hmm. This was our uh, th this was our largest race ever. Um, wow! Wow! Not not counting the those two that are kind of ones that we could not control, mm -hmm. right? So yep. overall, like like this is our best one yet. Sixty six percent of all of the people died. <laughs> wow! So I mean, I'm not laughing. I mean, I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, and I'm still laughing. So you know, uh, yeah. And so one of the things that kind of pops out at me here is out of the top 10, there's nine that are dwarves. <laughs> and the person that won is Torin. Wow. That's all that matters. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> um, I, 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 yeah, I thought, I thought that was pretty neat to see, you know, oh, well, yeah, a lot of people are going dwarf. And then now, well, the winner was you know that one person that went horde um so actually yeah. horde versus torn it was like uh 64 dwarf so um it's the player not the class oh yep <laughs> yeah I, I yeah i knew i knew i knew listen was gonna, gonna show up um so the other interesting thing is that i knew that a lot of people were gonna pick priest right and yeah so that was the most mm. picked class but oops yep that's gold uh so the next one was uh shaman I'm like what mm. I'm like really uh, all right mm. so anyways yeah uh, yeah i'm i'm kind of more surprised that druid was fourth out of all of the classes i figured that would be number two would have been higher yeah yeah so. i would have thought so too uh, oh. But we have okay. So let's go down our uh, top ten. Am I? Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Uh, oh yes, I did actually. So the person that won was actually um, this person was a had another tune and was in first place and then died. Uh, let's see, died at like level forty four. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man, because I was I, leading at yeah. 44 and yeah, and then died yeah. um, and then and rolled died. again and oh, wow. came back up. And right at the end, it was funny. Yep. I, w I was looking at them both. And uh, so uh, Payoga Pe Pe and Caillou 2 uh, were were neck and neck. And at one point that uh, I think Payoga was level 81 and Caillou 2 was level 80. And then all of a sudden I saw uh, Pe Payoga like level up like a lot like he got two or three let levels mm. and i was like okay i think if uh caillou doesn't get on now like he like he's done right but i yeah. think this is the closest that we've ever had like a number one two because usually how it goes is 
someone is going to pressure and then somebody dies, right? So then the person that wins usually is because like the person tried to catch and couldn't and couldn't do it and took risks and died, right? Um, mm. That's usually how it goes. But the, I, so I think this time around, it was uh, I was very excited. I was watching it like every day. I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, so number one is Payoga, and because they're here in the chat, I'm just gonna point them out. It is Listen. Uh, so he's saying that he died. Oh, due to a disconnect on on an in- intercept. Oh, on a warrior. That was uh, on the warrior. Yeah. That's that's, that's crap. Yeah. That that would like man that that stuff is like okay and I, I'm gonna start going off. You guys can do the salt things in the chat, all right? So because I'm still salty. Uh, so uh, Payoga, I I or listen, I will uh, send you a email uh, and let me know which mount that you want. And th- this mount is courtesy of Layla and John here, and uh, looking for Thank casuals. You guys. Thank you guys very very much. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do that I think we're going to try to keep doing going forward is that uh, the, the people that rank number two to 10, so that there's more incentive to try to push up, but at least if you make the top 10, you have a shot at getting a prize. Uh, there is a wow pet prize that they are also putting up. Um, and I am going to, so I've already in, uh, p- let me, add, let me show the screen. Okay. I'm going to put this, put my spreadsheet on. Okay. So you can see my mm-hmm. spreadsheet. I put the number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. place. I'm, I was on Sesame street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. No? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, so the higher you place, the more tickets you get. Uh, so if you mm-hmm. see up here, uh, the, the number two place gets nine all the way down to the number one place is, uh, sorry, the number 10 place has only got uh, uh, one. And these are the tickets. So these are the ticket numbers. And so you see we've got one t- ticket ID number one, 245. And I go to my other page, and this is our range, 1 to 45. So how we do this is that I go to random.org, change that to a 45, so 1 to 45, because I don't, uh, because uh, I like to use this website for things like this because uh, it does actually, it's a little bit better uh, random stuff. Hello. I, I, I've, it's been a while since I saw her. I miss her. So... Uh, um, she's so nice okay so uh we'll generate the result and we'll take whatever the result is here we'll and that is the ticket of who will win the pet and clicking Mm -hmm. and that is number 32 so i go put here is number 32 and it goes look it up so it's briar the character uh character briar ended he or he or she was in third at level 62 nice. with a oh. dwarf priest from EU Earth and Rain. Congrats. Uh, so, Briar, I will done. use your email to, uh, I, I will send it, I will send you an email. Uh, you just let me know, uh, you reply to that and I'll let me know which pet you want and I'll deal with all that stuff. Um, congrats. Uh, thank you for everybody that played. Uh, it was, I mean, even like, even though I only had the one character, I, I was still watching a lot cause I was real, I was pumped, uh, pumped up. And I think I liked mm. you two doing your thing and doing a lot of Twitter stuff. Cause it kind of got me, uh, involved as well too. Like, like, oh man. Uh, and you know, the whole team, uh, dwarves and team Torin, you know, John, mm-hmm. but really though, I, I think it should have been team dwarf cause it uses less characters. Just, just yeah, for next that, time. And, you know, right. Layla, so. Layla had uh, for the... You well, Torrin could go Layla both for... ways. <laughs> Layla, right? had, what, it can be used as singular Layla? and plural. For the herd. For the herd. See, I <laughs> that was pretty good. Right. I couldn't say for the clan for the because beard. that would have been taken... Beards beard. unite, something like Beards that, John. Come on, you can come up with something. I, you know, I, I was stuck on... Oh, that up there because wow. uh, that was because uh, people, you know, KKK, the clan. That, that wow. Just <laughs> that just took a turn. Uh, you know, dude, I mean, I we do not want gotten... to get banned. What the hell, dude? No, yeah, no, you can't, you can't say for the clan spot. anymore. So, Good. Wow, yeah, John. Was... <laughs> I didn't want to get kicked off Twitter, so. 
Yes. So he's going to get your, your podcast. Get us kicked off of. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, that's Thanks, man. Why you don't say that. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Uh, anyway, so Ali, I mean, it, it was definitely very good. It was good to have all the interaction from you guys. We really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for supporting and donating the prizes because it, you know, and all everything that was generated from it. So thank you both for everything that you've contributed to this it contest. And obviously... Pleasure. It oh. really was. We had a wonderful Thank time, you. and and uh, we couldn't, of course, do it without you guys. So, uh, I know it's something we wanted to kind of give back uh, to you guys, and and um, because we love you guys so much. So, yeah. Aww. Thank you. We we do really appreciate it. So, yeah, I'll get all teary in a minute. But all anyway, right. <laughs> um, so yeah, next. All right, so uh, next next contest is starting right now. Uh, like, I like this. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chapman. That was great. <laughs> oh, did I miss that? Did did he come up? Oh, just a full on butt shot. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> um, no, so uh, next contest, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, anyways, wait and see. Yeah. So we haven't. Anyways. Okay. So uh, next thing that's coming up is Love Is in the Air. It's coming up soon. Uh, it runs Tuesday, February the twelfth to Tuesday, February the twenty sixth. Quests are allowed except for Bloodthirsty. Lovely cards are no, except they're okay for tins. Love tokens, yes, you can collect them, but no, you cannot buy items with the buffs. So no, uh, but that's okay for tins. Dresses and suits are typically common slash white, uh, so yes, you can use those and they can be equipped. Um, dungeon running, no, unless you're on a five-person iron team and all those people in the team are on the same team, then you can queue up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that, record it, please. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I really want to try a five-person team and just run five man and just, and just do it yeah yeah anyways okay so <laughs> char i mean it could end really quickly or we could do really well i i think i think mm -hmm. you guys are on no i i think we could do the first i think we could do dead mines i think we could do rage fire yeah yeah, yeah. didn't we try this layla the question no we did three no. people and we went in to see what yeah. we could do and that was before that was before all the scaling thing mm -hmm. when uh mm -hmm. john razarus and i had our team we mm -hmm. what did we have i was a hunter i think we I were all hunters no because our oh, all hunters no, died because you jumped yeah. off the zeppelin yeah i was the rogue the i rogue. had the I had hunter the I had the juicy you had the rogue. Was Raz a warlock? Yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, some. A warlock. Yeah. Anyway, the three of us, um, when the team was had been disqualified, um, we went ahead and went into uh, Black Fathom Deeps just to see what we could do, mm -hmm. and we managed to get up to the first boss. The first boss we couldn't do. Uh, we died. Mm. But or I think John I, did we wipe completely? I don't remember. Yeah, I think John died. Spun us to death. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then we put on our heirlooms and then we killed him with no problem because it was just that, that <laughs> the heirlooms made that significant yeah, of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, but that was before the whole scaling thing. But we were at level to be in Ashenvale at the time, so it wasn't like we were over leveled for Black Fathom Deeps or anything. So. I yeah. think I think a group could do a five man, but I think you would have to adjust group makeup. Yep. Like you would maybe have to have a disc priest and another healer sort, resto druid or shaman or something like that, and then yeah, maybe yeah, a nice. tank yeah. and a and a hunter yeah, um, with Nisi, a with a tanking pep. Nisi was saying in, in chat that you know you could probably get away with a second he healer, and yeah, I I, I think that if mm. you do one tank two heals and two dps and i think i think i think you should be fine honestly um 
Especially nice. because the healing, any of the healing specs do a, a pretty they decent amount damage. of damage for yeah. what they what they are at lower yeah. levels. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, I th this is what I do. I go over here and okay. So, uh, just to finish off, love is in the air. Uh, charms, yes, you're allowed to collect them, but pacifists cannot because you can only get them because be, if you kill things. Um, no. Uh, so that's going to be starting soon. And uh, we, we were actually thinking that we might have done the contest around Love is in the Air, right? We were thinking that, that kind of mm. stuff. So we just, but we opted for what we did. And I, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it could have been a love one too. Like, show me mm. some love or something. <laughs> <laughs> well that i think that was the wasn't it like that was show, the original yeah yeah the original so idea was the love, some love yeah. the love is in the air and and i had mm. suggested that due to the store current storyline that we did forsaken versus night elves and mm. stone was like well if you mm. put night elves there's nobody gonna pick yeah. a forsaken so yeah. that kind of yeah. yeah it would have been a good story though with yeah. love is in the air and and the current story between those two races but mm -hmm. he's right yeah. nobody would have picked no. a forsaken over it no. unless unless you just are a diehard horde forsaken fan like i think i think you, yeah i mean i Basically. think you would have had a few but i mean overall i'd be surprised if night yeah. if night elves dropped below 80 percent you know i just uh, mm. everyone's gonna go low that that route um uh, so I think the only other thing is uh, BlizzCon dates. Uh, so, you know, last time BlizzCon happened around October with 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 October 31st being on the Thursday. Blizzard pushed BlizzCon to November the 8th and 9th, the weekend after. Now, this year. Uh, so this year it does land again on a Thursday. So we all assume that Blizzard was going to push it to 8th to 9th. However, our friend Toasty put up a picture from the from the Anna, from the Anaheim Convention Center showing that the convention center is booked on the 8th and 9th. However, it's not booked on the 1st and 2nd and there is enough lead up time for Blizzard to go in and prepare stuff because they need uh, from Monday and on, right? Whereas mm -hmm. even if they went the weekend before into October, whatever it is, there's not enough time for them to set up. And yes, I know that the convention center can have other bookings. However, when you go look back, they're not showing them online. So they're only showing the main one. And so far, there's nothing there for November 1 and 2. So... From what we think, to we think it's now going to be November 1 and 2. So if you're planning, make sure you start getting hotel stuff done now. Um, get uh, refundable stuff. Like if, if you can book uh, November 1, 2 and then uh, November 8, 9 and then whenever they announce it, which would be in about a month or two. Um, then you can cancel whichever one you don't need, right? Mm. So um, just just so that you know. But it was Toasty that broke that news for sure. I just wanted to give him a little bit of a props because <laughs> that's what he's saying. He's like, ass. Stone, you're an ass. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I really have, honestly. Um, okay. All right, well, we'll do the state of the challenges then. Let's find out how everyone's gone this week. So, Layla, can you take the irons for me, please? All right, so we are saying rip to Secret Druid at 66. Though we have Iron Theos still going strong at 66. Silver Shaw at 74 as i'm gonna assume that's as e4 or yeah as e4 at 75 yes has, has bit the dust yeah. unfortunately also rip to iron star at 76 q u2 at 82 uh Peoga at 85 iron luna is at 92 shinari at 102 
and bikini kills at 103. Nice. Wow. Excellent. All right. So yeah, a little bit rough on the irons, obviously, <laughs> this this past week. So let's have a look at our bloodthirsties. John, can you take those for me, please? You bet. At number 10 is No Pacifist Boo, or is it No Pacifist 2? At 25. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. McLeod. 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 Oh, it's not McLeod. That's McLeod. The Highlander, John. Yeah, like Duncan McLeod? McLeod? Yeah, like that's McLeod. Yeah. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. Good okay. Lord, John. At 28. <laughs> Uh, Diet Ward at 28 as well. Number seven mm -hmm. is Revanes at 29. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, cat. Read it backwards. No, just no. Read it. <laughs> oh, cat. No. That's her character Move. name. I know it is, but if you read it backwards, that's the, that's the other way. Move. Boom Pow Taco. It's Taco's too. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, died at 34. Mm -hmm. um, Sangstone. Uh, at Sangwistone. Like Sangwistone. Sang like Sangwin blood. No. Oh, okay. You should right. hear him trying to read the names of people that come into his chat sometimes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I try. I try. I try places play with patience. Okay. Um, Soul Snuffer at 57. Soulful Paw at 86. Soul Shot at 93, and coming in at number one is Soul Shield. Now, are these all the same? Yes. Person? Easy. At 115. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Nisi. Nisi. Way to go. That's Nisi. There we go. Well done, Nisi. Wow. Nisi. There we Way go. to go. Nisi, Nisi back. Top, nice, nice. Top four positions. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's have a look at our pacifist. Layla, who have we got this week? We've got Awesome Blomster. At 45, Passive 10 at 49, Zaya Passy at 50, Passy Lita at 50, Yay! Pacifist at 55, Scaredy Cat at 56, Mab Passy at 73, Peaceful at 78, Five Pride at 115, and Farah Kessa at 116. Wow. Nice. I can I can imagine how much time that takes at those levels. I would be I would be interested to know, like for those those that are like at 115, 116, like what is your slash plate for like one level? Like how long does it yeah. take? Yeah. Well later five hundred hours. Do you think do you think on your level fifty, how many hours do you think you have in? I oh god i don't know it ha it ha really hasn't been too bad like keeping in the rested but i've i've pushed through rested and played like non-rested hmm. but it doesn't at the levels i'm doing it kind of goes it's not too bad so i do i don't know it's all very new john it's all very new pacifist is <laughs> it's all very new so we will see but yeah do you still I have your pacifist like john I do a Passy Winkle. He's level. What level is he? What level? 13, I think. 13 to 14. Fair says she'll track her next level. She Passy doesn't Winkle. know. She yeah, can remember I... to do it to see how long it takes her. <laughs> She's 116. That's her Ferrocasa. So, yeah. All right. But still, well done, Passies. Awesome yeah, week there. Smokes. All right. Uh, tins. John, here we go. Who have we got? Uh, are there only nine of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at uh, number nine is Gorzul at 16, Mama Quilla at at 16 as well, level or number eight. Number seven is Gustava um, at 18. Uh, Amishton at uh, 42 is coming in at number six. Number five is Yesen at 46. Ash at, at 73 at number four. Uh, Ferris K is at... Uh, Level 90 at number three. Number two, uh, Ferratelli is 100. And Iron Capper at 103 is holding the number one spot. Your, your nice. sound cuts in and out at times, and I don't know if it's you or me. Oh. Have you guys, when he was saying, like, let's say Ashlev, mm -hmm. 
Did it cut out? Oh, did okay. it cut out? So then it's yeah. on your side. Is the, the is the plate sounds in the background oh, at your that... house, John? Because I think what it is is his mic's trying to cut out the background, so it's cutting out him. Because my Yeti oh, will maybe? do the same thing sometimes. Oh. Yeah, let me. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> clank, clank, clank. Yeah, just Ding. as you say it. Yeah. Ding. All right. Well, while you're doing that, uh, how about I'll do the greens for this week. So we have got Zaya Paku at 42. Not a lot at 42 is red flagged. One rare slot was equipped. Yep. Oh dear. All right. Jinx at 43. Intro Moo hit 44. Corpse Stone hit 44. Gruz hit 64. Fairy Shammy hit 72. Holy One hit 74. Ferrovert hit 94. <gasps> and Kali hit 94, but RIP. Oh dear. That's no good. Mm. Bummer. Okay. Uh, John, how's the mic? All good? I think we're good for now, hopefully. Okay. Everything's good. Right. Okay. Can I get right. you to do the iron teams then for me, please? Bet. Uh, number six is Les Mytho uh, in the U EU at 15. Uh, they died. Um, <laughs> they died. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, number five, the Meat Packing District US at level 20. Exceder, also US 22. Uh, Theos. EU uh, at 24. Number two, Lord Thundren Jesus Bay at 26. Bye, John. Bye. Lord, oh, and, and and there's no H in there. It's Lord Thundren Jesus Bay. Lord Thundren Jesus Bay. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Apparently, yeah. Oh. And unfortunately, and I did not know this, what, what I am shocked. And I, I, I just know that it wasn't Nisi's fault. Uh, Team Puppet Revenge, US, 63, RIP. Way to go, Zorts. Jeez. Sorry, Nisi. From, f well, from what I understand, it was Zorts' fault this time. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean this time? No, like, I, I, it I mean, hasn't been before? I, no, yeah. I, well, I don't know the times before. I can't, I can't, I can't remember. I just know for sure. <laughs> Nisi was like, uh, 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 Zorts, stop, stop, because I think he was getting too close to the Zanger March uh -oh. troll oh, town. No. Like the oh, one that's, no. yes, and then, yeah, you, boop. It was a bit rough. But anyway, they rolled again, and yeah. they're off going again. So. Zorts is going to kill me now. though, is really, really good. I mean, it's oh, really I'm, good effort. Absolutely, and, and it's and, and it's kind of funny it. that because usually I read the teams out and it's just kind of I find it weird that you know it got color coded that you had to read the teams out this week. I don't know, mm. just kind of weird how that happened. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Mm. funny about that. It's just the way I the ball the ball bounces. Mm. Time, I... mm. love you, Zorts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny about that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Layla, can you finish off with the blood teams for me, please? All right, so the three we have here, number three, grade D but edible, U.S. 22. <laughs> Two, we have Soul Patrol, U.S. 28, which is which is Nisi, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, her, dual, her little nose. She always does adorable yes. pictures. Dual boxing. On Twitter. Dual boxing yeah. arms. Yes. And number one, we have Five Finger Death Taco, U.S. at 68. Very nice. Well done, Five and Taco. Awesome. I ca I cannot imagine a John and Zorts team. As a, oh my no, God. I just I, it wouldn't work. Oh, good lord! That... Oh, <laughs> my lord! It wouldn't work. It wouldn't I work. Mean, I mean, I would. I mean, I would watch that because that would be amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a train wreck that would be! Oh my God, you could oh, not lord. look look away. That that would be amazing. Please. <laughs> Please, please, Let's just... <laughs> please, that would be great. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now oh. that I've broken John, sweets. 
Once my work is done here. All right. This just in. It's Chit Chat. All right. So this is where we get to have your puns, your questions, your tips, your tricks. And uh, this week, it's a little bit light on things, but that's all good. John, we oh. have got something from Azzy. Oh. Can we you read that one, please? You bet. We certainly do. And I love these um, because, you know, it's, it's where we connect, I think. You know. um, okay, Azzy hold says, on. Uh, John, 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 John. Just wait a second. I, I, He's got to get John, you got to okay. get, get you a little studio going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So you can go. I just reset my okay. sound just to make sure it wasn't on my side. Is it? Is am I good yeah. now? You, hopefully. Okay, okay good. Uh, good. From, this is from Azzy. <laughs> and again, this is where we connect, uh, Azzy and I do, with these amazing puns that he has. Um, he does a far better job than I do, though. And I, I think Layla will agree. All right. So Azzy says, "How many South Americans does it take to change a light bulb?" Mm-hmm. I don't a know. Brazilian. Da, 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 da. You're better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Although that makes me think of the bikini wax, so. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh. You're better yeah. than this. There you go. It's... That's from Jangler last week. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Um, thank you, Azzy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank Azzy. Thank you, Trump, for reading that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Anything from well, the chat room? I, well, we were kind of talking about stuff in chat, you know, because so usually what we'll do for people that are here for the first time or, or maybe not, or maybe not know, uh, you know, if we're talking about stuff and we don't acknowledge what you've said, you know, we'll I'll try and copy it and paste it for after. Uh, but I think this week we were pretty good with with um, with, uh, you know, the things in the stuff with the chat room. You know what I mean? So things, things and stuff. stuff. Things and stuff. Absolutely. And better than this. OK, so. All right, Jangler. All right. He's he he's like I like you know from last week. I have this now. Better than this. Yeah. This is now my number two. It's my blood. So, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so this week for Iron Elite, we actually got somebody new. Uh, Toasty actually uh subbed. Thank you very very much. So we added him to our nice list of Iron Elite that help us keep the freaking lights on. Uh, but he joins these wonderful people. Uh, let me uh, open up the the, the uh, page here because I'm on the contest page. Um, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for helping me pay for the server. Because <laughs> good lord, um, thank you to Asylum, Boz, Chupa, Cra Crash Landing ninety nine. <laughs> Uh, LB, Fair, Five Iron, Frosty Sparksman, Grand Nagus, Eli CTR, Introvert, G Genius, Cal, a Moon, Cashbringer, Chris, a koala that will remain anonymous. Layla, listen, Mozadi, Mrs. Rock, Ruru, Never Died, Nisi, Okan, Lada, <laughs> Periton, PS Ducky, Rude de Bruin, Sir, Swing Cat, Taco, Thelani, Tiber, Toasty, Tuli, Turwinkle. I don't think I have you on this list, and you know I need to add you on here. So Turwinkle, for sponsoring the contest, like that's like that's a thing. So thank you very much. So <laughs> Turwinkle. I, I, th I thought you were totally gonna hit him up, like for like I don't have you on this list, and I want to no, know why. No, I would never do that ever. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I. No. Uh, Two Frog, Ominia, Unamathil, Winema, Zion Zorts. Thank you all very, very much. Uh, yeah, I don't Thank know why. I think I think it's because I've been dealing with Layla more, like for all the stuff. That, so it's that's probably why I was for the best. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Jesus. That's true. Sweet, sweet that's Jesus. True. Um, nice. Okay. Nice. There's a. Did you get the number of that bus that just drove by? Because, <laughs> no, that's, I mean, hey, I've always said, let brains of the operation. So, mm. you want to deal with her? Yep. 
not going to dispute it. Uh, so that's this is how we insult our guests so they never come back on again. So uh, thank you to our mods uh, for keeping us all sane. Uh, awesome trousers, boss, fair, Nisi, Stir, Zaya, and Zorts. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And oh man, here we go. Thank you to our Twitch viewers. So this is the part where if you want me to read your name, come on into chat and watch us record a show so I can butcher your name too. So you can join, join these wonderful people who got to sit through all my crap. Uh, awesome trousers, boss, fair, Lita, man, Nisi, Stir, Bot, Bob, me, uh, Active Energy. I don't know if that's a bot or not. Uh, Annette's, that's a bot. Chupa, bot. Captain Do Doby, yeah, Crash Landing 99. That's how the girls used to just be like, can I go out with you? No. Crash and burn. Okay, Taco, LB, Grand Negus. Uh oh. Hephaest. He he oh, man. Hephaestus. I'm going to go with that. Uh, bot. Mm -hmm. Eli. Introvert Genius, Azzy, Turwinkle, Chris, Layla, listen, King of the Firsts, uh, Mi I, I, no, I don't think that's about, so, uh, McGigasine50, maybe, I don't know, uh, Michael Dram, hi, um, I think that's a bot, P Poizel, that's a bot, Periton, hi, Oh, Annette is not a bot. No, no, I didn't think that Annette's was a bot. I was saying uh, active and energy. Uh, no, um, a uh, apricot fruit is a bot, and that person was just after you. Um, oh, Josephine. Hi, McGuys. Okay, Josephine. Uh, where was I? Oh, my goodness. This is what happens. Uh, Rude de Bruin. Oh, my goodness. Riso Rocker. That's a bot. Mm hmm. Soil, Soylent Greener, because it's better than being soil and green. Tiber, a.k.a. Tiber. Uh, oh, we got somebody new that just joined. Uth, Uther came in right at the last second. VNK. The Lightbringer? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice. Hi, Uther. Hey, Uther. So cool. Welcome. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't, uh, just, you know. Uh, VNK, hey. although I thought that was wow, about John. Virgo Prize, I thought it was about maybe not. But anyways, I'm just you know, uh, yeah, I'm making fun of John's pronunciations. Uh, Five Iron, Yadran, and Zeptimus. I like his nice. name, Zeptimus. Mm -hmm. Good name. Thank Zeptimus. you all for sitting here with us and chatting and just about things and stuff, and you know, and things. Hmm. Uh, so our next yeah. show will be wrap it up stone uh, will be uh, f Saturday February the 16th 7 p.m. Eastern um, things and stuff <laughs> so mm -hmm. Layla and John thank you very much for coming on and everything that you've done uh, like uh, honestly uh, this contest that we did this time I mean it went perfect from front to end like there was no times where it's like list wasn't showing up or people couldn't add a character because like the classes were wrong or it was from like the old one front to end ban handers looked great uh thank you very very much uh very very happy to have you on and be a part of this whole thing uh well, yeah, That's the great. banners looked great because you kept cracking the whip until they were perfect. Yeah, so I yeah. didn't have any choice but to make them. Layla cry called me crying several times. <laughs> I doesn't like it again. I don't know what I can do. It was three in the morning. I was like, good Lord. Three in the morning. You're still up doing it. Yeah, still up doing it. He doesn't oh, like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Three in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Right. As you do. So this is the first and then the last time this is going to happen, I'd say. <laughs> from you guys yeah oh. we appreciate it though sure. now, we do now, so thank you so much now stone before we go uh oh, no. you know i always have people ask me questions in the chat about oh this or that on iron man and layla and i have this little thing that we do and um <laughs> you know i i'm always 
Oh, well, that's a great question. Well, the place that you can go is wildchallenges.com. And, uh, you know, the home of the Iron Man. That's right, Layla. Wildchallenges.com. You don't say, John. Just go over to wildchallenges.com. What could I find out there? Why, Layla, you can find out all things, uh, uh, you know, that are oh, related on, to no, Iron I Man. I know I messed it up, Layla. I messed it up. But, you know, uh, everything from Iron Man, Bloodthirsty, Pacifist, Tin Man, Green Man, your favorite Iron Man teams, and all things concerning Iron Man, Layla. Teams? You mean I can do the Iron Man with other players? You sure can, Layla, and more. So head on over to wildchallenges.com to find out all things about the Iron Man challenge in the world of Warcraft. Ironman.com, home of the Iron Man. That, what, where's that next part? That that one extra part that Vlad added. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was waiting right. for that. <laughs> Better than Pornhub. Thank you. Better than Pornhub. Better than Pornhub. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you guys. If, that was awesome. No, if we, if we, really if we go make commercials, you know, we will just hire them. Just do that. Absolutely. We're available anytime. Sweet. We would totally, totally get used to do that. That would be, that would be awesome. So now, do you guys, would you like to pimp out your stuff for us, please? And let everyone know where they can find you because you guys are awesome. And we love to support as much as you support us. We want to support you. So Tadwinkle, where can we find you, please? Well, you can find me. Seuss is going to tell you. <laughs> at Winkle on Twitter. Zeus. Nope, you're cutting out, man. Yep. He's messing up your mic, John. He's messing up my mic. Layla, you go first. <laughs> well, I personally don't have an Instagram, but that boy back there has an Instagram, and you can find more of him on Instagram at simply underscore Chapman, C-H-A-P-M-A-N. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Layla Straza, I'm sure in all various places you can find the spelling for that because it's not it's not easy, and that's 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 pretty that's pretty much it for me. I don't do I don't do a lot of the uh, the social networking things. I don't find that my life is that interesting. <laughs> that's fair enough. But everything that you've done, in particular with this couple of weeks with the promotion is being on point my dear has been absolutely on point i love seeing your tweet outs of the torrent uh for the her it mm -hmm. was just fantastic so thank you thank you for all of that because it was but big smiles to our faces just to see that so that was great uh, i mean I'm, I'm only sorry that someone couldn't take up the mantle for the dwarves but wow <laughs> speaking of dwarves john's back Hey, thank you. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know, hey, I, I did some stuff too, Layla. I was you out did. there cheering. I, I was out there cheering the dwarves on as well. So, yeah. just didn't have the screenshots all right. and all that. So, all well, right. That's the level of commitment <laughs> for you, John. Well, no, okay. <laughs> um, you can find me at on on Twitter at Terwinkle. Uh, you can also follow me. on YouTube at Palmer Bomber One, and uh, as soon as we get uh, our first episode, uh, have up on SoundCloud, and hopefully back up on iTunes, and looking at getting Spotify for the podcast. Looking for casuals, so look for us there as well. Excellent. Thank you very much for that, and we will have all of that information on the website with the episode all right so where you can find us of course is john where do we find the website that's right wildchallenges.com <laughs> thank you thank you that way you can also find all the information on our discord facebook twitch twitter and the youtube channels if you want to download and listen to the episode check out google play itunes spotify and stitcher and if you would like to send, uh, whether it's questions, tips, tricks, <laughs> puns, send them all via email to podcast at wildchallenges.com. Stone, where can we find you, please? You can, 
you can find me on Twitter at S T O N E G R A S P. I'm just I'm laughing at when you guys are doing your things. I'm picking out certain words that you say and I'm being 12 years old. It's OK. It's not you. It's me. Uh, as well as the Adventures in Azeroth podcast, which, hey, Lita, do you want to record one tonight? <laughs> in like three hours or sure. two hours? Sure. All right. We'll be doing one soon. Yeah. Lita, where can we find Okay. Uh, all right. So don't forget, check out Twitter. It's at Lita Wow, which is L W E T A W O W, as well as behind the avatar, which is the other one that I do. Uh, to wrap it up, so big. Thank you to Mark Conan and Epic Insanity for their intro and outros that they have provided for us. We appreciate them. They are great friends of ours and we like to give them a little props. So Mark Conan, you can find on Twitter at Mark Conan Wow and Epic is at Epic underscore Insanity. Check out Epic Shows, Frozen, Frozen Nerds and Epic Questions. So again, chat room, thank you everyone for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who participated in the contest. Uh, it was absolutely amazing to see how everyone was doing. I know it was a little bit rough for some people, but thank you for getting back on the horse and going again, so to speak. Uh, other than that, John, Layla, thank you for everything that you've done for this. And we appreciate you coming to have a chat with us once again. And good luck with looking for casuals. We can't wait to see where you guys go from here with it so it's very exciting so thank you so much thank you guys thank you guys very much <laughs> say goodbye oh bye <laughs>Two. So you've got the Menenthal Harbor. <laughs> Jeez. Or the put your big boy pants on. That was uh that was two that were suggested from the chat room earlier. Um, okay, so what about you got Layla, have you got anything that like jumps out at you? Again. Anything I, I kinda like put your big boy pants on, John. <laughs> <laughs> John, what would you, what would you like? <laughs> no, that's uh, you know, uh, I, I could go with uh, watchchallenges.com better than Pornhub. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as much as I think that, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I think that does actually sum it up quite well. I, I would, I think I would agree, Layla. Put your big boy pants on, John. Yeah. Yeah. What? You like that one? <laughs> yeah. Who's oh, that's voting? Pre that's pretty long. That's it's pretty long. Put your. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Well done. Well done. You're welcome. Um, okay. <laughs> Terrible. Otherwise, Can't take you anyway. I don't know. I don't know what else there is. Uh, no other suggestions. <laughs> All right, fine. There it's, it, is. it just it. <laughs> It doesn't ring true if we go put your pants on, John. It doesn't no, no, ring no, no. true. I mean, it's put your big I mean, boy pants on, John. Yeah, I think it's. So yeah, I think, I think it's, it's going to be the full thing. 
put your big boy <laughs> pants on, John. Unless unless it's just quit being a girl, John, because I tell him that all the no, time. No, no, because no, no, no I'm gonna start getting people. Oh, because it's 2019, and be, we'll you know, people, and, and right? girls are gonna be like, well, girls are not like, and yeah, yeah they're not, but be. that's not the point of the. Yeah, fuck, I don't want to deal with people. Yeah. I hate people. <laughs> Yeah, they're the worst. General public, I, I just you know I, I I can't deal when I get to know you. I I'm good, man. I'm 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 good. I'm good with single people. <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. I have to I deal with the shit. general public when they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, have fun with mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that's fun times. Have fun fun times. Have fun All right, we'll go. Well, I've put the whole thing in. So put your big boy pants on, oh, John. John. There we go. That's what we're having. Thank you. See. No, you're wrong. You forgot a comma. <laughs> comma, John. You're not going to put our big boy pants on John. Yeah, yeah please, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's eat, Grandpa, and let's eat, Grandpa. <laughs> exactly. Commas kill. That's right. Indeed. Oh. All right. uh, I'm gonna all right. drop the stream. That's it. Say, hi, chat everyone. Room. Thank you, chat see room. See you all later. Go. Level safely. Um, have Thank a great you, week. I will see you guys on congratulations, listen. Monday, or maybe late later if we do adventures. But anyways, level safely. Peace. Oh no, that's gang signs. Yeah. That's peace. Peace. All right. <laughs> oh, jeez.